Ready. All right, here with Lizette Salas after her first round at the Pelican Women's Championship. You had a really great round, like, just from the start. How did you get off to such a good start today and, and run that long train of birdies until the very last hole? Um, that is a great question to start off with. Uh, I think just my mentality coming in, um, I didn't have a great first impression with this golf course last year, so I kind of came in with a different mentality, kind of knew what what, um, what kind of shots this course demands and um, put in a new driver and a new ball. So um, kind of took it as I went and stayed aggressive, made a really good par on the first hole. And I, get, I think that really just sets the tone um, or sets the pace for, for the rest of the day and just stayed aggressive and had a little nice little chip in on the last hole. So um, my short game's been feeling really good the last, you know, four events. So just trying to stay with that consistency and uh, just minimize my mistakes off the tee. What is it about the course that challenged you last year that you took into account this year? Um, I think I was trying to fight the wind so much here. It's it's more adapting to that wind and kind of um, allowing my game to complement the wind, I guess, not, not really fight it. Um, again, it's not that windy, so I get to be aggressive and, uh, you know, be aggressive on the par fives. I think um, the first few on the backside of the pin placements were a little tricky. So, um, yeah, just try to stay patient and uh, stick to stick to my game plan. Go ahead. Did you uh, change ball and driver with the wind in mind? No, they just uh, – I had been struggling a little bit with the driver. I struggled a little bit in Korea. And, um, you know, the rep stepped in uh, on Tuesday, and we worked on it. And then Tyler's came out with a new ball, and – uh, lower spin and tried it and let's let's see how it worked and it's been working out really well did you uh, unlock something in Arkansas in the last few weeks have been really nice form is there anything you saw there that kind of gave you some momentum yeah we've been uh, working on a few posture changes um, with my putting uh, with my which really helps my stroke and then we kind of just went back to kind of um, Kind of like my go-to swing thoughts back of back in 2013 and 14 when I was really striking it well, and so uh, yeah, we came in with some oldie but goodie swing tips, and um, it's been working quite well. And again, communication with my swing coach and and getting my body in the right positions, um, it's been working really well. How did not having the round yesterday kind of impact preparation for today when your buildup is so used to starting on the Thursday and you start on a Friday? How does that kind of change? I mean. You can take it two different ways. You can get frustrated or you could kind of just take it as it goes and, and you need to come out even more aggressive on Friday knowing that it's only a three-day event. Um, I kind of liked having another day off, <laughs> I'm not to be honest, but um, I knew knowing like the conditions were going to be off, uh, like obviously softer, uh, not going to get a, a lot of rollout, so um, really depended on my hybrids to, you know, to be – you know, aggressive and uh, really just made some good putts. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you.